this morning, let me encourage you. I wanna encourage you to look to and learn from the scriptures. You see, in Romans 15, four, Paul writes, and the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. I recently heard of some interesting research concerning people who believe in Jesus and people who don't. Well, this research found that not only do we all face the same problems, that's a shocker, right? But here's the thing, believers and unbelievers experience the same frequency of struggle and failure with those problems. Unhappiness in marriage, lack of fulfillment in work, addictions to alcohol or substance or pornography, these dynamics are pervasive, prevalent, and powerfully problematic for unbelievers and believers alike. Unless, unless the research found believers are in their Bibles and read their Bibles at least four times a week. You see, when you're in the Word consistently, you're getting an alternate perspective on life. You can't counteract seven days of life with one day in God's Word at church. Just like 40 minutes at the gym a week doesn't change a week of burgers, pizza, and that good old Chick-fil-A. Have you ever heard that phrase, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? Well, God has given us the resource of prevention for those pervasive, prevalent, and powerfully problematic dynamics that everyone faces. You see, by interacting with the scriptures, God gives hope and encouragement. And as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled, our minds are being renewed. And as we interact with the scriptures, God gives us hope and encouragement. So here's my encouragement to you this morning. It's actually a life lesson we learned as a church as we studied this passage together in our series, Good News for Mankind. And it's simply this, always look to and learn from the scriptures. It's in the scriptures that we find hope and encouragement. Mm -hmm.